Hi there, a sign of Aquarius. Hope you're doing really good. This is Kim here to do your reading. It is the next 48 hour reading. You take it how it resonates with you uh, because it might represent something longer, of course, than 48 hours. It just might be the message that you need to hear today. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the Psychic Tarot. And we'll see what we get for you. The uh, air signs have had really good readings so far. So I expect this to be a good reading. <clears throat> Messages for the sign of Aquarius. Thanking the spirit team for joining us, your spirit guides, your angels. My mother in the picture is the angel facilitator here helping us out. Good messages for Aquarius. Financial and material changes. This can be representing the Five of Pentacles. And so the way that it is you're probably coming out of some kind of financial difficulty or material change. So like um, something to do with the material realm. This could even be health, talking about health, but whatever it is, it's caused some worry. That's why it's coming out. Tell me more. Whoa, a new beginning. A new beginning. And yay. Three of Swords in the reverse is how I like to see it. <clears throat> so it's like letting go of whatever um, loss, sadness, or heartache like that you've gone through is going to give you a fresh new start and a new beginning. It can feel a little alone, I gotta admit. So this could be about feeling a little lonely, stepping into a new beginning. Kind of like that period of transition maybe coming out um, of a commitment and ready to put what didn't work out uh, in, into the past, um, doing something maybe a little bit different, a little bit unconventional, or something that's not um, typical. Losing patience for a past situation is what this is all about. Not losing necessarily patience, but being divine timing to move on from this. <sighs> heavy, heavy, heavy. Partnerships, alliances, and there's your crossroads and a soulmate coming in. The lover's card and harmony. This is the hierophant in the reverse, by the way. The ace of wands in the reverse. And the temperance in the reverse. So let's focus here, spirit, a little bit more on the new beginning. For Aquarius, um, whenever we've put this in the past, I want to look at what what happens then. What happens when we move on from this energy? For Aquarius, what happens when we move on from this energy? Mm, three, three. The three of cups in the reverse. This could have been a third party situation or moving on from uh, people or places, influences that were not the best for you. You're coming out of a waiting period to move past all of this. Something that was in a commitment, very off balance, is coming to an end with new choices, decisions, and action. No more waiting, no more sacrificing. And there's hope. There's your card, the star, star card. So the hope, this is the physical manifestation of something that you have wanted for a very long time. You're the star. Um, so this is like being aligned with what it is that you want um, or that you have really desired for a very long time.
Major tra transformation, change. 13, major transformation and change the death card. It is time for this major change and transformation because the hope is here. The star energy literally is here for you. Your own energy. This is a really good card to get. What's on the bottom? Triumph, the chariot. Triumph, something is gonna move in the direction that it should. Mm -hmm. Whatever was not working, the solution to depression, anxiety, following your own intuition will get you there, standing your ground and saying, hey, this is what I want. Well, that was an easy read. <laughs> That's pretty much, that was it. Uh, or not, that wasn't it. But um, the major players here, as far as major arcana, you got a lot. Right, the higher fence, the... Maybe a Virgo energy, a Pisces energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. You have the sun in the... So what is off balance or what we had been in denial of... Um, that's changing. There is a new path opening up with the judgment. It is one of enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. That, that it is something positive. And this is the plan. The judgment energy. That is the plan. Yeah, I see you've probably already been planning on this. 333. Really powerful, creative energy. What I feel like you're putting in the past, too, has to do with sacrificing too much of yourself or filling up your cup while others are trying to drain from you at the same time and so this is about like not being open to emotional manipulation it is um good health taking care of yourself wow you have a leo energy not present possibly because strength is in the reverse too this might have been, some of the lack of self-care was taking away from confidence, confidence in yourself. There's this Cancerian energy, the moon, the illusions. The Empress, what you're creating, three, 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 and your choices and this is about choosing no things that are good for you in order for you to see things clearly. Um, and you're not, you're, you're like, you, you don't, wow. There may be something unexpected and new coming in to offer you the cup or maybe wanting to give your cup to somebody else. Why is the moon out here? Really strong watery energy let's use the siren song why is and this could be a motherly figure the empress or somebody that is um, creating something their baby creating something tell me more about this moon getting together getting to know somebody uh, people talking having a good time a get together but these people I would be careful with, with that three of cups in the reverse because it feels like you're about to maybe even change this group, change up this group because of the off balance. Oh, fame, recognition, the moon again. This one in the Lenormand definitely is about recognition and fame. It's about more than just the stars aligning, but also this fixed moon spotlight on you. You're coming across as very mysterious. And you hold the key. It's your everyday choices. So choose wisely. Choosing the things that fill up your cup first. So that you could adequately fill up somebody else's cup. If you needed to. You may be moving or elevating to new levels with the stork. Relocation is possible. Birth of a new business. Opportunity or child could be indicated. Definitely you're in deep in the thoughts of somebody, maybe in a romantic way, 
Cupid. And they have the Wealth card, 11, the Wealth card. What you're uh, famous for. And then Unexpected Money. Being at a crossroads, there's that lover's energy again. What's the, um, so something, some kind of illusion of regarding how this group was, or these people, or a reunion that didn't happen. I know that's going to be a rare one. A reunion that maybe didn't happen. Tell me about death card or change or transformation. Secrets. Secrets. The book. And court. Secrets and court. Something kind of official, clerical. Something you could have been worried about with the woe is me card. Kind of woe feeling uh, not that confident. Here is a letter also. A message written, some form of written communication. <clears throat> mediator, a go-between, or somebody that knows the ins and outs of uh, either a legal system or a social system. Important decision here, and I feel like choosing wisely um, with a clear mind is going to be really important. And then you have another hope card. Look, you have the hope card twice, or the star card twice physical manifestation of your dreams of your realities the old you is gone something is transformed regarding secrets concealment court and up and people that could help you that helped you with it or that help are, are going to help a good lady could be like a mom or a mentor or a person that is like a mom energy that helps, gives you good advice, loves you. Uh, the woman. 29, the woman. Bouquet. An admirer, uh, an admirer and an offer opportunity for change. Here is the gift and the white cat, loyalty ally, a friend. Indeed, uh, this gift could be like an ace of pentacles coming to you, a new start. And there's definitely a few females here that, um, I don't know, there, there's part of the process somehow to help you, to help you. The intention is good. Another message, a letter, a message. Uh, we didn't talk about the key very much because I think the key is about you and, and your choices um, to being either open or shut off to something loving in your life. Two change cards. Change, change, to change. Could be a move. Again, somebody revealing to themselves like this three of cups in reverse that they were a false person, not who they said they were. There was some kind of ill intentions there. And here's another crossroads or the lover's energy in the distant horizons. Your uh, ship's coming in. Something that you imagine, something a little fantastical is going to be amazing. And there's huge, huge choices and decisions. Expect something greater than what you already, something good or greater than that. A community, a ruling, judgment call, uh, a ruling, yeah. Imprisonment or being stuck in the headspace. Another thoughts card. Somebody's 1616, really deep in their thoughts about you. Another message, three letters now. And then the mature man. Working smarter, not harder. Let's get some animal spirit on the. Oh, what is this? Wait a minute. I didn't know there's two. 
and an official person, an official letter perhaps too with the 22. Somebody who's like an expert or really good at what they do. The spider weaving your prosperity is coming to life. The elephant could have been a long journey, but definitely worth it. Packed with wisdom now that you learn by. The deer, just like this empress, a very motherly, warm, nurturing, caring energy. Compassionate, creative, and sits back and receives. They know how to. Here's your great idea. Hmm. It's time to visualize. With the firefly, you might be feeling like a burst of manic energy. It's followed with a brilliant idea. The crow, putting that wisdom to work. There's secrets here. With knowledge, occult knowledge, wisdom with the crow and the book. And then the bear is saying you're very powerful and you're coming out of a spiritual slumber or hibernation. Spinning your dreams uh, to life here. And that, my friends, is what I've got for you. If you need a private reading, something more tailored to you, please check out the description box below. I am going to do a, a closing card with the Oracle of Genetic Gifts. And like and subscribe and come back if you need to. There's another 22 on top of the 22. You have a very powerful friend in your life when that is coming out. Or this is you, the powerful person. 22, master number 22, the architect, ruling planet Pluto change and transformation dark night of the soul the path of initiation the dark path to get there but it's starting to turn light you have so much hope here in your reading too so i'm sending you love and light by aquarius